Hi everyone, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. Um, as promised earlier today, I'm back with a really fun, easy Easter craft that you can make with your joy and um, smart vinyl. I wanted to show you uh, this smart vinyl. It's a five pack, so it's five and a half inches wide. That's what the smart vinyls, that's the width of the smart vinyls, and 12 inches long, and you get all of these colors, which I think are just fabulous um, Easter colors. And um, I wanted to uh, show you how this cuts on the Joy. This is one of those smart uh, products which means it does not need a mat and I'm going to show you also how it weeds it weeds beautifully earlier today I did this one um, and this is from a an image uh, there I am <laughs> sorry this is from an image that um, I got here from Cricut Design Space it's listed under holiday one cut gallery art holiday one cut gallery art and you can see it has all different holidays or seasons including uh fourth of july and summer but here here's the easter one that's this one um and then there are a couple other ones for the spring like there's there's a kite and then there's this pretty um, this flower one. But I want to show you what I did to make it so that it cuts out um, like this, which is sort of an opposite of what this is. So let's pull it into my design space. I'm going to move these over so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so it comes in and it's like all one piece. And the idea is that you're supposed to cut it all out and then weed this area to make that the negative space. But what I did was I um, I wanted it to be the opposite. I wanted the inside part um, to be still be there. I suppose you don't need to really do anything, but for my eye, I like to, um, instead of, I don't know, for me, it was easier to think in terms of, let's put a box around this and make it, um, the opposite way so I don't know if this is going to help you or not but this is how I do it I would add a shape a square shape and I'm going to make this slightly smaller all right I take it a shape and make it about the size but not bigger than the size of the image that I wanted to um, reverse and then I lay it on top of the image and then I select both both of them the bottom and the top one and I'm going to use this this is called slice and let me show you so think of slice as it, it's like basically slices straight through as if you had um, several pieces of paper and then just kind of like um, like a hole punch all right so here's what happens is you end up with pieces bits and pieces so we get rid of that this is our original right and there's one slice and this is our end result that's what I want to keep does that make sense? Suppose you could cut it out the other way and just weed it differently. But for me, this is a sort of a more logical way of doing it. Now, I, I change the color just simply because when a slice tends to be comes out uh, sort of <laughs> sort of gray. I don't know why that is, but that's what it is. So so here is um, the end result of the two images that I'm slicing. So um, we're working with the joy. So today we're going to be making a piece of framed art that I found from this four by six frame. And we're going to cut out using the smart vinyl, this uh, Easter image the from that word art. And I'm going to show you also how to put, I'm going to put this on the uh, glass. And then we're going to put something in the background to cover up the ugly mat that's 
that's there okay so first let's cut it out I'm going to use my joy I'm going to move my laptop a little bit so you can see the joy so here's my joy let's move this out of the way and again I'm using this it's um whoop, upside down it's removable vinyl um and this is a sampler I don't know if it has a name I don't know if it has a name, but it it is five, uh, it's like two shades of peach and two shades of green and a lavender. I thought that the lavender would look really nice, so um, I thought that we could use that. It comes rolled in this, in this um, box. That's one I already used, but here's the rest of them. Let's get out the lavender, although that's really pretty too. It's one of my favorite colors, but let's use lavender. So this is um, Smart Vinyl. So this is what it looks like. It's much thicker than um, the uh, vinyl that you would uh, get, like any other kind of vinyl that you would get because it's thicker so it can run through the machine. And you notice that it has these like little edges on the side where no vinyl is that's so that it can go into the machine okay so um let me just show you here's the machine and so you see here there are two rollers on either side right there and then you also have these guides this is where the the vinyl is going to go under the guides and be picked up by those rollers. And that's what these spaces are for. So people who ask, can you use regular vinyl in the joy? I usually, I mean, I'm sure someone is going to find a workaround, but if you have another kind of vinyl, not the smart vinyl, the simplest solution is just to take that vinyl and put it on a mat um, instead of trying to, I mean, I really kind of thought about this. I'm like, would you cut off the edges? And I don't know. I just think if you have regular vinyl, if you can't get your hands on the smart vinyl, but you want to recreate this craft, you can use regular vinyl that you have in your, in your stash, um, but just put it on a mat. And um, they make mats size just for the joy. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get this going. And I just, I'm um, not sure if you can actually see this, but what, when I am going to cut it, I have a choice. Do I want to do it without a mat, on a mat, or on a card mat? Let me go over here so you can see. And I want to choose without mat because I'm using the smart. Good morning, Amy. I'm Paula. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Um, so, okay, I'm going to do uh, without the mat because the without the mat is for the Cricut Smart Materials. Okay, so we're going to choose that one and be done. And we, we are in this process, we're reviewing the artwork, which there's nothing really to review or change or move here. I mean, you, you could if you wanted to, but you really don't have to. So then we would just continue on and then we choose um, the material. This is Smart Vinyl. Um, and you have a choice with Smart Vinyl. You have permanent shimmer and removable so this is removable because it says so on the box see removable so we're going to choose that one and then we're going to go ahead and load the vinyl now i'm going to move back a little bit so you can see this part all right so you see that the the machine is blinking that means it's ready to accept the material okay and i'm going to take the material you don't have to do anything you don't even even though it's kind of a little curved you don't even have to worry about that either we're just going to slide it underneath these brackets so that it touches and the machine automatically starts takes it in and sort of assesses do you have enough um <laughs> that's okay amy none of us know what day or time it is <laughs> amy's saying it's actually afternoon ah who knows anymore right <laughs> we're all stuck here at home so i'm okay i'll say good morning if you say good morning that's fine with me 
Okay, so we put it in the machine, and the machine is blinking again now that it's accepted it in, and um, it's waiting for me to hit the go button, but there are no go buttons on here, remember. So you have to do it all on your screen. So I'm gonna go up here and just hit go on my screen. It's gonna prepare it, and it's gonna start cutting. Um, and while while we're waiting for that to cut, keep it in view though, I wanted to talk a little bit about this. You don't have to use um, this frame. This is something I found around the house. It's like a four by six frame that I bought for like less than three dollars. Um, it's easy to it's easy to change out. It had like a picture of somebody I don't know in there. So I just um, opened it up. I just want to make sure I can, there we go. I opened it up, you see, and I'm going to, hello, Lori from New Hampshire. You're, you're just north of me. Where in New Hampshire are you from? Um, my sister lives way, way, way up in New Hampshire, up by the Canadian border. Okay, so I want to put something here because I don't like this background, right? So I have some paper this great paper that I got that's Echo Park paper. This one's called Celebrate Easter. And I, I don't wanna drown out my, uh, my design. So I was looking for something that was a little more cohesive. I thought this looked nice, but I don't know if I like it with the, with the lavender. So I was thinking maybe this, this yellow would look pretty nice with the, um, you know, with the lavender color. So what I'm gonna do, this is two-sided paper. I get this from, let's see, scrapbook.com. I think I might've gotten this from scrapbook.com. Um, and I'm gonna use my cutter and I'm gonna cut out a piece that's four by six, uh, exactly, because remember this is a, um, this, is, this is a frame and the frame is very exact measurements so let's see six okay so six and then I'm going to do four over here and if you if you felt like a little uncomfortable you could maybe cut it ever so slightly less than the four by six so that you know that it would fit Let's see if this one fits. We might have to cut it down a little tiny bit. And obviously this is dual sided, so you could use that side. But I kind of like this just kind of a, more of a plain background. Right? So there we go. Seacoast. Oh, okay. Mount. My sister lives north of the White Mountains. Up Dixville Notch area. Pretty crazy up there. <laughs> the weather, it's got like its own... Look at its own weather system. It's kind of crazy. All right, so we did this, and um, I put and I closed it up. And what we're going to do as soon as this comes out, it's done. We're going to weed it, and um, then we'll put it on this transfer paper, and then put it here onto the frame, and then we're done. Then we have a really cute little piece of um, Easter art. You know, and this is a really fun technique. I've done it with a couple of other things. Like we did a Celtic knot, knot and um, we did like St. Patrick's Day colors and it was really pretty. We did it slightly larger um, with holographic sparkle vinyl, but I thought let's break out the old joy and do this one. Um, and it's just such a cute image. You know, it's got the bunny and the basket an egg and an Easter bonnet and uh, chicks and all kinds of little things here. That's just so much fun. You're gonna be amazed at how quickly this um, actually weeds. I did this one this morning and I was like, I, d I don't even think I got my weeding tool out. It happens so quickly. It's kind of fun. So um, let's see, um, this, just so you know, in terms of the Cricut Joy Smart Vinyl, it comes in all kinds of colors. And I really am liking these samplers because I had another one I did that was like sparkle, and holographic. Another one I did had that was shimmer vinyl. So it's a great way to try out some things that maybe you might not buy a 
whole roll of. And I'll be really honest with you, peach is not my number one color. Like it's not a favorite of mine. So um, I probably would not have purchased this had it not had these other colors in it. And, and that's just kind of my preference. So it's a nice way to get like some different colors and you can try them out, you know, and they will tell, it does tell you on the side what the names of the colors are. So I suppose if later on you want to go buy just that one color, you can. The other thing too is that this is called removable. Um, and that just means that when you're removing it, it's not going to leave a residue behind. It's not that it's like, um, window cling, which isn't going, it comes off just by peeling it off. Um, it's stickier than window cling. So, uh, removable, I think some people are a little confused about removable. And I think if we're going to compare it to like Orcal, it's probably 631 instead of 651 um, in the sense that it will come off easier and not leave like a mess behind. 651 has a stronger adhesive to it. So anyway, so we're almost done here. It works pretty fast. Um... And, you know, I really like this final. I think coming up, we're going to be doing some infusible ink on the Joy. I got some really great spring colors, so I thought we could do that. And uh, let's see. I want to also do some more iron-on because people really like the iron-on and they really um, want to know more about it. At least on my YouTube page, it seems like that they are really keen on knowing about the iron on okay so here is the completed one now i don't want to use my whole sheet i have 12 inches so i can cut it right here at the end so i can keep this piece and do another one or you could maybe put two on there if you wanted to um, because it's still under six inches so that would would have worked if we did two and then we just start um weeding it just get it going and let me put it on a flat surface so you can see how quickly this goes and I think aside from right here this might be all weeded isn't that amazing let me just double check Get up close. Oh, no, I think we need to do this piece up here. See if there's anything else that need. No, seems like that's, that's completely weeded. Isn't that adorable? So, um, and here it is in the peach. Actually, this one's slightly bigger um, than I did in the peach. I made this one slightly smaller. I'm going to trim this up around the edges simply because we're working with that frame and we're going to stay within that framework of the frame um, for no other reason than that, okay? Okay, so then uh, we've got our our transfer paper and um, it does not have to be joy although joy does have transfer paper um, it does not have to be the joy transfer tape so it whatever you happen to have that's fine I'm going to cut it uh, so that it's about that size you don't have to do that either but it's just sort of my thing okay so and then I'm going to remove the transfer tape from the backing <laughs> it might need to, oh there we go there we go okay i'm going to remove the transfer tape from the backing and i'm going to apply it i kind of roll it on because i don't like those bubbles that happen so that's how I do it. Other people might do it slightly different, but that's how I do it. And I always take and burnish it um, just to get out any bubbles, but also to make sure that that 
tape is lifting up the image um, and then we're going to use it on the back here as well because we just want it all to lift but the great thing is that if it doesn't lift we can we're going to do it slow enough that um, we know that everything is going to lift this is how i do it um, i kind of roll it and make sure that it's all removing from that backing. And the backing is pretty thick, so this might be slightly different if you're used to doing this with another um, uh, kind of material, like not the smart material. It might be a slightly different kind of experience for you so go slow you know just go slow even though it's a it's a quick project you know take a few extra seconds don't just kind of like rip it off and expect that everything is going to transfer over it doesn't always do that i'm gonna get it a little closer to me because i can't see what i'm doing sorry that it's not all in camera for you i apologize Oops. And it's okay to kind of work around it too. I don't know if, if you have like one area that might be a little tough to get off. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, this I hear the noise of my uh water bubbler. <laughs> It sounds like it's going to start beeping in a second, which is so slightly annoying. Apologize for that. Okay. We've been drinking a lot of water over here. I was told that drinking water was important during this whole crisis. I don't know if that's true if they're not. But anyway, all right. I'm missing a few of these dots, but for the sake of not using up too much of your time. Now, granted, you guys will do a better job than I will, okay? Um, but you'll make sure that all of those little tiny dots get added to your... And I left a little, a few dots here, but that's okay because I don't want to take up too much of your time. But so then we're going to take our transferred image and we're going to sort of line it up on the glass. There. Here we go. Okay, that's good. And then we just press it on here on the glass. Again, you're gonna do a better job than I am because you're not wondering if it's in camera and all of that stuff. Um, so I'm here to, to just show you the technique and then you'll perfect it. That's what everybody always do, does. So once I push it on there, then I'm going to slowly remove the transfer tape. By the way, you can reuse the transfer tape if you're going to do more than one of these or you're doing. I, I kind of stick it to the edge of my table so that I can get more than one use out of it because it's super sticky. I don't know if anybody's ever noticed that about the Cricut transfer tape, it's super sticky. All right. And almost. There we go. We're getting there.
This is the beauty of live video. <laughs> and there it is. Yay, we did it. Um, I maybe would, oh, let me make sure that I, I maybe probably would put a thicker piece of something in the back because I noticed that it's a little loose. So I might go back and do that. But, and, and I also thought about maybe coloring the frame a little bit, but there it is. Um, it's a cute little way to use the smart vinyl and also, you know, just to bring a little bit of cheer to your house. You can do this, as I said before, you can do it on a bigger frame or you can make the image slightly smaller. I think next time I would make it a little bit smaller so you wouldn't get cut off here, but I really like it. I hope you like it too. Um, and, and, uh, just so that you know, I will give you the artwork that I used just to show you that technique of reversing the image. I will put the um, Cricut Design Space uh, um, file in the description of this video. So look for that if you're interested in this or in this technique. Let's see, tomorrow we're starting on Easter cards. We're going to be doing a number of cards, including box cards and a beautiful lattice card that I am working on making it joy compatible. Um, it's It's got a really unique shape. It's kind of a square, a rounded off square shape. So I'm trying to be, okay, I hope that, uh, boy, I can never win for trying. <laughs> I guess my phone just rang. Okay, I don't know if you're all still there, but um, that's tomorrow, and we will see you again tomorrow, hopefully without all these crazy interruptions and we will um, talk to you all really soon. Thanks so much for coming and um, enjoy the rest of your day. It's a beautiful day out here in, in New England. I hope you're having a wonderful day and we'll see you again really, really soon.